Welcome to Great Chefs, a culinary tour of the United States, featuring some of the country's finest chefs. The appetizer this time comes from New Orleans. Chef Christian Gilles presents a simple but effective rendition of Gulf shrimp Provencal styled with pear notes. Then Jean-Louis Paladin cooks the entree from Las Vegas, seared antelope with rhubarb three ways, in the sauce, as a puree, and sliced and poached in syrup for garnish. Finally, from Phoenix, Arizona, Vincent Garitou offers a crepe souffle. The filling is a combination of pastry cream and egg whites infused with lemon juice and zest. Vincent's on Camelback in Phoenix is a destination of the cuisine of French-born owner-chef Vincent Garitou. He came to the States in 1993 at the behest of Jean Bachet at the Great Le Francais near Chicago. He moved to Arizona in 79 and offers this dessert, lemon crepe souffle. Uh, we have two cups of cream, uh, two, two cups of uh, milk here. The chef starts some pastry cream. We're going to put uh, half the sugar here. And the other half of sugar, we're going to put it right here. We're going to put the egg yolks with the sugar, the, the half sugar. And we're going to steer that to make sure we don't cook the egg yolks. We're going to cut that vanilla bean, we're going to cut it open this way so we get all the flavor, all the little seeds. We're going to put that with the milk. We're going to put the flour right here. We're going to bring the milk to a boil and then we'll put a little bit of milk here just to temper those uh, egg yolks and uh, sugar and flour mixer and then we'll uh, cook everything back into the milk until it boils again and then the cream will be ready. So we're going to put a little bit of the milk right here The primary difference between pastry cream and a custard or sabayon is the flour. Note how quickly it thickens here.
It's taken off heat and cooled. The crepes can be done ahead of time, and what you could do is uh, you can uh, put them, uh, separate them with a little square of parchment paper like this, so and you can freeze them also. You freeze them, and the only thing to do is just let them at room temperature, and they come off uh, very easily from the paper. Uh, and the next step now is to uh, give the flavor to the pastry cream. We're going to put some lemon rind that we have here, a little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to take that vanilla bean out. It's always a good idea to save that. We can put that in a jar filled with sugar and save it for next week or tomorrow when we need some, paste, some, uh, some more pastry cream or some. All right, we have that um, mixing the pastry cream with the lemon juice and the rinds here. I'm going to add some more. With a brush, we're going to butter the bottom of the tray here. Okay. And we're going to put some crepes right here. We're going to serve two crepes per person here. Sweetened egg whites are added to the pastry cream. Now we're going to fold those egg whites very gently here with the mixer, the, mi the mixture of uh, the pastry cream and lemon. And we're going to put a little bit of the mix on a crepe. And we're going to bake that for about uh, five minutes in the oven at about 450, between 4 and 450 for about five minutes. All right, let's check on those uh, crepes. You're wonderful. Look at this. Wow. A little bit of powdered sugar here. Raspberry puree and creme anglaise garnish. Well, we could do a little bit of uh, raspberry sauce. Here we go. Bon appétit. Thank you.